Hey, it's Nick Artigo here. I'm going to show you how to use this box. This is about a 20 inch box. You can use really any kind of elevated surface. It could be a park bench or anything like that. I'll show you how to use this to open up your hips and inner thighs. So the main thing to do first is to put one foot on the top. Then I have my other foot on the ground. I'm going to take my leg a little bit out wider. So there's some lateral space between my legs. And I'm going to shift forward into this leg that's on the box. Give my torso upright first. And then I'm going to place the hands on the box. And from there, I'm going to start to release my inner elbow, the elbow closest to the leg, toward the box. Also, you want to be sure that you are keeping the spine as lengthened, as elongated as you can, so that I'm accomplishing the elbow going down, not by crunching, but by shifting the whole torso. The difference is this. I'll show you on this side. You can see that my spine foot's on the box. I'm starting to shift forward. And I'm going to push my elbow to the ground. Now, if I use only the spine, it looks like this, kind of hunching forward in the spine. But what I want to do is take the elbow to the ground by shifting my whole torso forward. The knee can go out a little bit, and I'm shifting that elbow toward the ground, keeping my spine as straight as I can. So here, my elbow is not touching, but my spine is pretty straight. Now, if I make the elbow touch, but I'm bending my spine, See, my spine's really rounded, my elbow will touch. That's not necessarily better than shifting forward, keeping the spine nice and long, and letting the elbow sink naturally as a function of the hip sinking, as a function of the hip flexing into that stretch. Really stretches out that inner thigh muscle. It really can help open up the deep squat motion for you. Why do you want to do the deep squat motion? Well. It's just a natural way that human beings, up until recent times, have always, human beings have always had that position in our repertoire of movements. The introduction of chairs over the last few hundred years has, especially in Western culture, it's removed the need for that movement from our daily activities causing a lot of tightness in the hips, which tends to cause pain in the segments up the stream and down the stream. So lack of mobility, lack of flexibility in the hips tends to put more stress on the lower back and spine and also on the knees. So if you want healthy knees, healthy spine, you want to bulletproof those areas, having hips that are mobile is a huge help. If you've got any benefit from this video, then just leave me a comment below if you like more access to content that's not available on the blog or the regular YouTube channel, then click the link that's connected to this video. You'll have a chance to sign up for the Run Better Now VIP Club. Thank you.